Gridiron Girls and other viewers. Um, if you haven't already checked out gridirongirl.org, please go and do that. We have crafts. We talk about a variety of different college football teams and professional football. We also talk about great recipes, tailgate ideas, party ideas, anything team-oriented. Also, please visit www.sports-skinny.com. That's my website, and it's down below in the um, About Me section, I guess. So basically today what we're going to be doing is making a noisemaker, um, something that a lot of stadiums will let you take into the game. It's obviously an empty water bottle, so you won't have anything in there that you're trying to sneak in. I have chosen beads in purple and yellow and some rhinestone looking things in purple and yellow as well. Those came from this bead bucket and this rhinestone bucket both of which I got at um, Walmart the rhinestones were $16 for the bucket and the beads I believe were $6.99 um, pretty reasonably priced I've used the beads and the rhinestones each for a variety of different crafts so it kinda works out so it's an incredibly simple craft you're gonna take the lid off your water bottle here and I've already done that you're also going to peel the label off. You can soak the water bottle to do that using Pinterest. They have a variety of ways to get labels off of all kinds of containers. I This water bottle, luckily, just the label peeled right off. Then you'll continue to place all your beads and rhinestones into your bottle using your hand in the shape like a funnel. Like that. It takes a couple minutes to do this, and if just a water bottle filled with beads isn't fabulous enough for you, you can also pull out your glue gun, a handy dandy glue stick, and some of your favorite colored ribbon or things like that to attach to it. You can also use fabric paints or paint pens to decorate your water bottle, including Sharpies as well. I put a bag down below me so that I can kind of do this without getting these little things all over the couch, which is where I'm sitting right now. This isn't working too terribly. Maybe it's going a little bit smoother. Now you don't want to fill your bottle to the top. As you can see, it's not completely full at all. Even after all these beads and rhinestones, it won't be. The reason you want to do that, leaving a little bit of space, if not a lot of space, is so that when you shake your bottle, it makes a lot of noise. It's the whole point of a noisemaker, right? To show your cheer, your team spirit. And to have a mostly empty bottle, you get a lot more noise than if it's more full. The beads don't rattle against each other as much. And it creates a very attractive bottle. I'm going to use probably some fabric paint to decorate mine. Just to give it a little bit more oomph, I'm going to pull out a purple fabric paint and decorate these lines here and maybe write Go Tigers on the top. As you all might already know, I'm the LSU blogger, but I do have the honor of doing crafts, tailgate, foods, party ideas, any kind of blog that has anything to do with team spirit and LSU football. A lot of my crafts are LSU themed. That's just because, of course, I'm going to want to use the crafts I create, but some of them are not. So please feel free to create yours into your team colors. I've chosen purple and gold again, LSU colors. You can use any colors you'd like, even if it's your local high school team, your NFL team, your favorite baseball team, anything. All right, so now my two dishes are empty. And like I said, I'm going to get my purple puffy paint. This was 50 cents at Hobby Lobby. It's not too incredibly expensive. 
I get a lot of puffy paints. In fact, I have an Ugg Boots box full of crafting supplies. And that's primarily my paints and things like that. So as I mentioned before, I'm just going to fill in the lines of the water bottle. I'm doing thicker marks just so that it is more apparent and visibly attractive as opposed to being minimal. I'm not much of a minimalist. If any of you have ever seen any of my craft videos, I like to do a little bit of excessiveness. But I feel like if you love your team, you should show it. So this is going to probably be the longest portion of your nose noise maker because you do have to wait for this paint to dry. Also, not the neatest craftier. I kind of go outside the lines a little bit here. That's okay though. It'll look good after. It's all done. And you want to get that paint nice and even as much as you can and do thicker lines just so that it's not necessarily see-through since you aren't covering the entire bottle this is more to give it a little bit more personality also I apologize for my scratchy voice we went camping this weekend which probably wasn't my best idea, it was freezing outside and I got a little bit of a cold I think so my throat has been a little bit scratchy don't worry it's not contagious <laughs> and I'm probably almost done I might do one more line just to give it a little bit more oomph but like I said, you don't want to completely cover your bottle. If you do choose to completely paint your bottle all one color or half and half colors, you can just use beans, dried pinto beans, dried black beans, white beans, lima beans, whatever, or rice to be your filler instead of colored beads. A little bit cheaper to do beans but it does require a full bottle paint because beans are, and rice are not as attractive as colored beads alright so now that I've done that maybe I will add some yellow I'm fine my own. here it is again 50 cents I got this one at Walmart Actually, this one might have been 99 cents, but still not incredibly outrageous. I'm going to use this on the lines in between the purple that I have. And this one comes out a little bit easier, and it's glittery. So it's going to make my noise maker a little bit girlier. If you are a male, or you're making this for a male, who does not like glitter you can use matte colors instead gives it the same appeal still looks fantastic but not as girly but as you know for gridiron girl our primary focus is to help women and anyone who has any interest in football get a better idea of what it's all about and get some of the backstory of the team instead of just the scores and stats which I have always been a personal fan of knowing the backstory of things and I think that's why Gridiron Girl reached out to me to blog about LSU for them as they saw my passions aligned with theirs and we've made a pretty impeccable team I'm only going to do these three lines here and then the one right below it just to give the bottle again a little bit more personality than just an empty bottle and I'm going to paint my cap
and it might look uneven while you're painting it wait until it dries to decide if you want to do thicker coats or even just a second coat of a color sometimes it goes on a little bit more clear and turns out to be a thicker color so this is what we have now so far not completely painted as you can see but a little bit more fantastic looking than just the traditional empty bottle now here's my cap this is a pretty simple do basically I'm gonna get the same purple paint I had before and I'm just gonna draw scribblies on it like that And then I am going to get my infamous foam brush. You guys have seen me use these in a lot of different crafts. What I'm doing now is just using the foam brush to give the lid a little bit of texture and to help spread the color all across the lid. Now if you don't want to get paint on your hands or you're worried that you're going to mess up your manicure, I do recommend using plastic gloves added a little bit of paint on the edges and I'm going to smooth that into the creases of the lid again we're just adding some personality to our bottle and once that's all done I'm going to use the yellow to make a little tiger paw I can get it to come out And it's a little bit fatter than I expected, but it is pretty spot on. I'm pretty happy with mine looking just like this. Don't want to add too much to mine, but if you do decide you want to add ribbons or anything extra to yours, you can take a pencil or a pen and pop holes all around the rim here and attach the ribbon. Tie a knot in the ribbon, shove it through, tie the knot on the inside and you can add beads to the outside of the ribbon dangling down Otherwise, you have a pretty fantastic noisemaker feel free to message me comments follow me on twitter and instagram for more crafts more sports talk and just to get to know me better i always appreciate you watching and hope you'll visit both the websites mentioned in the beginning of the episode thanks guys come back again